Warning, this program contains foul language, violence, and suggestive themes. Abysmal City, with TV 14, viewer's discretion is advised. Good afternoon, everyone. I hope you look forward to your new future. As you may know, I am Dr. Duraldo Hung. <clears throat> Humans and AI have had a long and difficult past. However, now is the time we stop these challenges and join forces to combat what matters the most. And that is the pesky virus that doesn't seem to go away. The DVP-90 virus has been airborne for the last 10 years now. After the last pandemic, it seems no one has learned their lesson, and unfortunately, it has returned with an immaculate force. A force that I, the only one, has come up with a solution for. I can hear all of your ancestors whimpering in my ear at how foolish you humans have been. They've suffered a grave death was something that could have Joel, been prevented. There? I can't freaking see anything. It's so dark up here. I hate the dark. Man up and keep going. The rest of your lives are important to me. Wouldn't you like to be free from those horrendous contraptions on your faces? Wouldn't you like to breathe air without having to have a rather expensive air purifier in your home? There are endless possibilities to having this vaccine, humans. Excuse me. Yes? What about fertility rates? There are rumors going around that they've dropped significantly due to the vaccine. And well, my husband and I would really like a child someday. <laughs> that rumor is absolutely ridiculous. There are plenty of children running around and they're perfectly healthy with this vaccine. Don't you see? That looks like a grown man. Uh, escort this deviant, I, I mean gentleman, off the premises. Please. Go sit. Go sit. This child has clearly gone through puberty. It's a teenager. You're all being fooled. That man is a criminal. Silence, Deviant. As I was saying, my wife Carabelle and I truly care for the people. <laughs> Shit! Come on, what the hell is going on in there? Well, I just fell on my ass. Anything else you'd like to know? Get up, Joel. Dr. Hung's bot is detecting movement already.
Chris to your left. Shut them down immediately. It'll reduce the eyes that they have on you. We will fight this demon of a virus together. Hurry up, Joel. Arbus is heading towards you. I assume Arbus is that enormous robot that stood next to Dr. Hung, yeah? Wow. You're so smart. I know. I hope your super smarts and fake science shenanigans will prevent our appending doom. She knows? Of course I know you're not a real scientist, you idiot. Mandy told us all, but it's too late to turn back now. Move forward! They're finished! Now what? Get the remaining two. Lyra, Mandy, how's it looking down there? Arbus is just standing you there. You have two options. He's not moving. You get the DVP-90 vaccine with Empium, which will give you blue-colored irises. And what's so special about Empium is you'll be more human-like. Yet, you'll have a much lower mortality rate than the others. Practically immortal. Who wouldn't want to live forever? <laughs> the second option is the vaccine with Strode. Strode is an option for those who would like to appear more like the AI you see here roaming around. They have red irises. You will be stronger, faster, and more agile. But there is a catch. You'll have to recharge your battery. A long 15-hour charge will last you an entire 24 hours. If you don't, you'll simply perish until someone tends to your charging needs. With the choice of Empium, all you have to do is be your normal human selves and shut your eyes for merely six to seven hours. So, the choice is yours. The sky's a lunatic. Excuse me? Uh, I... I said you look really fit? Oh, <laughs> well, putting in five hours at the gym a day could do that to someone. <laughs> Thank you for the compliment. Anyway, dear, do you have something to add? I'd like to say that we all care about you so much, and we want you to lead better, healthier lives. When my husband found me, I was on my last days. Without Geraldo, I would have perished. I owe him my life. You're so sweet. Any further questions from our future hybrids? Done. Get to the lab ASAP! Yes? Will the vaccine hurt? There will be some mild discomfort once injected. However, it will all dissipate within 12 hours. There are different stages to your cure. Within the first three hours, you'll experience numbness in your entire body, almost as if you were dead. Then, you'll experience a dramatic decrease in body temperature for the next six hours, causing uncontrollable shivers. For the remaining time, you'll be in a state where no one can explain what's happening in their mind's eye. Almost as if they're in a different dimension. I've heard many stories, many reactions to the vaccine. 
They're mostly positive, I must say. The irises aren't the only thing that will change on your body, though. As you may have noticed, some of your peers have evolved for the greatest and highest good. Although, I've got one question for you. Are you afraid of becoming one with AI? You thought you could have one over on me, hmm? What's the matter, future hybrid? You look confused. Oh, disappointing. It seems that my lab doesn't have proper ozone purification for a weak little human like you. Answer, goddammit! I'm not sure why all of you time travelers try so hard to stop me from changing the world. But let me tell you, <laughs> it's quite annoying. You are the chosen one. <laughs> What the?
This is my purpose. Thank <laughs> you.